mind and heart. Mind is a complex phenomena. It's not an organ because there is no place in the body where mind is located. It's described as a conscious intelligence of every cell of the living being. Each cell will produce some signal, some transmitter and the collective intelligence takes actions. These actions could be basic like hunger, thirst or protection from the predators. Human being is more evolved and more complex, performing various activities in the body. On the other hand, when we say heart, we are talking of an anatomical heart or a structural heart and not the emotional heart, which is described in poems. As cardiologists, we look at the heart in a very non-emotional way and deal with it and its problems in a very mechanical way. But this structural heart can get affected by various activities of the mind and that's the connection that we are looking at today. Traditionally, people talk of body, mind and the third entity or the Atma. As medicos, we are trained to look at the mind and the body and the sixth sense or the life beyond these two falls out of bounds for a restricted logical mind of a medico. Heart, as you know, beats at about 70 beats per minute for the entire life, which would mean millions of times. It pumps against resistance, that is the blood pressure, and it is doing its work relentlessly. Mind regulates this by giving inputs to the nervous system of the heart. A fear or a stressful situation would mean the heart getting stimulation from the substances like dopamine and noradrenaline, and the heart then start beating faster, the blood pressure would rise. These are known as acute stress reactions where the body prepares for flight, that is running away, fight, that is to stand up in difficulty, or freeze, wherein the body just shuts down itself. The neurotransmitters like noradrenaline and dopamine make the heart beat faster make the blood pressure to rise so that the body gets ready for any of these three actions fright, flight or freeze. That's why in any fearful situation or stressful situation one can feel the pounding of the heart because the rise in the heart rate and the blood pressure. With these resources at hand and the fighting spirit that one has one gets over the acute difficult situation and then settles down back to normal heart rate and normal blood pressure. But if such a situation keeps arising chronically or every day in our lives in the form of various stresses, the reason blood pressure will stay high and will not get a chance to settle down to normal. This results into high blood pressure or hypertension. A faster pulse rate all the time would mean work done by the heart is much more than it should. Thus, in simple words, chronic stress will lead to a mechanical problem related to the heart, high blood pressure, high heart rate and rhythm problems of the heart. Chronic stress is also known as one of the risk factors to produce blockages in the arteries of the heart. We know that smoking, diabetes, high blood pressure, cholesterol are all known risk factors which cause these blockages or atherosclerosis. Chronic mental stress is also identified as one of the major risk factors and so many times get unrecognized because one is looking at the more finite risk factors like the sugar and the cholesterol. Stress cannot be measured and that's why it can affect various people in various severities. The situation turns on itself when there are happier situations and pleasurable moments. It would lead to a calmer waves of the heart which is beating peacefully. The interplay of mind and the heart is very well known to science as well as the poets because it has been described in many ways in all forms of literature all over the world. The connection between the mind and the heart is so obvious that it cannot be downplayed or neglected. A heart disease proper can affect the mind also in the reverse way. 
many heart patients have chronic anxiety of a complication hospitalization expenses and also have a fear of death all the time living with a chronic heart disease can lead to depression over a period of time and make the overall situation worse such mind related problems are identified in nearly 33% of chronic heart disease patients in order to have a peaceful mind one does techniques of stress management which need training of the mind that comes through mindfulness awareness time management meditation yoga comradeship and family and social support when the mind is sorted out the heart shall remain sorted out and will last longer so let's all take a cue from this look at your own mind and body as a third party observer as if you are watching yourself from a drone train your mind in such a way that it remains calm in most of the situation and it should help you to look after your heart on a long term basis